Good afternoon YouTube, it is I Danielle, better known as Danielle Happy Medium and I hope you are all enjoying the channel. If you are, please like, share and subscribe and in today's video or topic up for discussion, it's called being honest. Being honest in the mediumship movement or being honest when you're doing demonstrations or you know private sittings or whatever it may be will get you a lot further than faking it, making it up or just in general talking absolute garbage which I do say quite a lot of so let me get straight to it so being honest is really as simple as what it means being honest when you get a communicator through what you should be saying is if you ain't got anything I haven't got anything at the minute but I have got this bad head okay that's fine there's nothing wrong with that I have um somebody with me here but I don't know who it is right now these are just some of the statements that you can use when you're doing your mediumship, whether you're public demonstrating, whether you're on just an open circle, whether it be that you're just practicing on friends and family. And the reason you need to be as honest as possible is because when you're working a floor demonstration, sorry, a floor demonstration, these people here are the most important people that you need, apart from the spirit world. This is the congregation, this is the sitters, this is the general public, this is the people who paid to have your time. And what we need to make sure is, is that we're being as honest as possible with these when we are doing our work. Because if we're not, they're going to spot you or a fake a mile off. They're going to pick it up. The, the general public's not silly. That That's one thing they're not. And yourself included, we've all got intuition. We tend to know when somebody's not being completely honest, true and, st and, and straight to the point. So the best thing that you can do is if you haven't got anything or you don't know who it is or whatever it may be there, just say it straight up the, off the bat. I don't know who I've got here with me. I've got somebody, but I just don't know who it is. And you know what? These here will forgive you for it. Uh, what they won't forgive is you filling them full of bullshit. Now, pardon my French there, folks, all right? But they will not take kindly to that. In another little hint and tip I can give, and I what I've done for many, many years in all of the demonstrations that I've done across the UK and the world, is, is before I even get on a rostrum, I say hello to the congregation. Whether there's two in the room or there's 28 in the room or whether there's 250 in the room. You know, the biggest demonstration I've done was 750 and that was at my hometown circle, um, hometown church, sorry, see him. And that was two years ago, um, last summer. And I spoke as a group of individuals. I introduced myself as Danielle before I even got on that platform. Because as far as I'm concerned, I am no better than the person that sits in this congregation, whether I'm standing on that platform or not. They are the same as me. The only difference is, is that I've honed my skills. I work for the spirit world, but each and every one of us can. It's just that I give more time to it. That doesn't mean to say that I've seen fledgings pull better evidence than me. And that's what I say my students do it. And that's what I want. I want my fledgings. I want my students. I want you to be better than me. Because that's important. Because then I'm doing my job. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing for the spirit world. But what we have to really get to the you know, to bolt of. Being honest is going to get you where you need to be. These people are going to open up. Introduce yourself. Say hello to people. Don't. I've seen this a couple of times on demonstrations and, and I've been watching a lot of mediums over the last, I would say, two years, predominantly all of my mediums. Not because I'm watching, because I'm critiquing, just because I generally go for a message because I want a message or because I just generally like to watch other mediums work because it's really nice and refreshing that I'm not giving a message. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's nice to not be able to stand on that rostrum working. But what I do see a lot of is a divide, what I call a divide between the medium here's the spirit world in the congregation it's as if the medium thinks that they're better than these and what they do is they put like a wall up or they'll put like a divide up so that basically it's it's them in the spirit world and not the congregation where i believe you need all three elements in order for this to work if you're missing one of these elements especially this element eventually it'll crumble because you need this congregation to be working with you in order to be able to be able to do the mediumship you know without them you're going to be knackered and to be honest if they don't turn up 
there is no there is no demonstration of mediumship because these people here are you or the people that you're sitting for or the people you're working for or the people you're giving message to are the most important part of mediumship apart from the spirit world and yourself and we have to make sure that we're looking after these and we're being as honest as possible with them when we're doing our demonstrations Another tip, and another thing that I did say about two years ago as well, when I was seeing quite a well-known medium here in the UK of England, he gave me a message. It was a gentleman. Um, obviously, I don't discuss other names. It was a very good demonstration. It was very, I was enjoyed it. Anyway, he came to me and he gave me a message. He was obviously on the rostrum. Come to me and give me a message. Um, but he then said to me, and I have, I don't actually do this, but he did actually say to me, on a psychic link, I'm aware that you're you're working for the spirit world and i obviously i turned around and said yes that's a, that's true i do work for the spirit world yes 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 but he was honest he was honest about where his information come from he was honest about where it was that his info was coming from so he did he wasn't saying it was coming from the spirit world he was saying it was coming from my auric field and that's something else you've got to get in the habit of it's no good you giving statements i've got mom here i've got daddy here, when you haven't I've got brother here, I've got sister here, when you haven't. If it's coming out of the auric field, then be honest about it. Just say, look, I know this isn't coming from the spirit world, but I can tell you that I've got, I'll pick this up out of your energy field. People will forgive you for that. People will accept that. People will go, all right, fair enough. At least you were honest about it. At least you tell me about it. Don't make out that mum's saying it or dad's saying it or, you know, this this information's coming from grandma or that's coming from granddad or that's coming from me dog or, you know, when it's not. Because ultimately then you're misrepresenting the spirit world. Plus you're also fibbing in yourself. Now, lots of you are going to be screaming at the thing going, but I don't know the difference between psychic and mediumship. Watch the video. I'll put it at the end. You will never learn that until the time is right. Nobody can teach you that. That is a le lesson you must learn of when you're working psychically and when you're working mediumistically. I do have another video, which I will put at the end as well, which will give you some hints and tips, but that's only hints and tips and what works for me. It may not work for you. So what I have to say to you is, is, is making sure that you learn and the only way you'll learn whether you work slightly or mediumistically is by learning to use your energy learning to understand your energy because if you don't understand what's yours how on earth do you expect to understand what somebody else's or the spirit worlds and this is a big thing that i talk about here on the channel about sitting for the spirit world or sitting for yourself because that will give you the knowledge of the learning of the understanding of energy you can't understand energy if you're not sitting in sitting with it and understanding it because ultimately there's no other way that it can possibly be learned apart from you know maybe grasping bits and pieces from here and there sitting long term will get you the knowledge and learn yourself from the spirit world also i shout massively about this and so many few people People don't want to put the hard graft in if you put the graft in you'll get what you need at the end of it but when you're working psychically or working mediumistically that's something that you have to learn so when you're moving your mind so you know when you've moved your mind and you know when you haven't when you know that you're tapping into an energy field and when you know that you're working with the spirit world you've got to be honest with people when you're saying it and at least if you're honest you kind of get wrong for it and this even streams down into teaching also and it's a big thing that you need to be checking here you need to be asking people who you may be watching all over, you know, the channels or wherever, where's their information coming from? Where is their knowledge being? How they gain their knowledge? How is their knowledge being presented? Is their knowledge of their own or is it somebody else's knowledge? If it is, whose knowledge is it? Because what we have to understand here is, is we need to understand as mediums or as Buddha mediums or anybody else, where's all that information coming from we have to be we have to understand them things is it because they've trialed and tested it and we know these things or is it because they've getting it from somebody else we have to ask these questions and we have to be honest about it when we do do it we're not doing it because we know we're trying to call somebody out here we're doing it because we generally need to understand where that information's coming from and it's very similar with the general public when you're working for them as a medium you have to be honest with them you have to say it's coming from your auric field or it's coming in from the spirit world or you've got to make sure that when you're working the floor you're saying i don't know who i have with me at the moment or um i can't quite get that if you can't get something or you can't get that information through or it's not working or your mind's just not letting it be honest about it just say look i kind of get that it's not grasping i, I kind of get it and you know what it is people will accept that more 
than you sitting there trying to fill them full of nonsense when they know for a fine fact that's not true, right, and accurate. You are better off just turning around going, unfortunately, my mind doesn't allow it. And I do that, you know. You know, I know. Shock horror, you know, as professional as I am. I sometimes don't always get every bit of evidence or every bit of scenario or every bit of understanding that the spirit world's trying to get to me. So I just go, unfortunately, that's not dropping in at the moment. Or unfortunately, that's not quite happening for me there. So could you... Could you accept and understand and uh, could I leave that with you? Or maybe further down the road, the spirit world might drop some more in. Just be honest about it. Just be straight up the line with you, commit with these, the general public. Will win you an awful lot of brownie points. It will also win you an awful lot of understanding. And also that people aren't being led down the garden path, which is ultimately not what we want in teaching, mediumship, healing, or on a psychic vibration as well. So in this video, we've talked about being honest and how much maybe are you being honest and how much is other people being honest. We would have to find out on that one. But I hope this video has been helpful to you. It's been a pleasure talking to you all again. I hope you've enjoyed the channel. Like I say, like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all later in the week, if not next week. Big kisses from me in the spirit world. And we'll see you all very, very soon.